NLC and TUC vows to support Peter Obi. Hey guys, this is still DJM TV Daily News Update. Ahead of the 2023 general election, the presidential bid of the Labour Party candidate Peter Obi got a big boost as the two Labour centres in the country, the Nigerian Labour Congress NLC and the Trade Union Congress of Nigeria TUC declared their support for him. They had vowed to campaign and support and also do everything within their powers to ensure that the Labour Party candidate Peter Obi wins the 2023 presidential election. The NFC and the TUC president Ayuba Waba and Quadri Olayeye made the pledge at the Pascal Bayou Labour House and TUC Secretariat Abuja respectively. Speaking to the Labour leaders and members, who gathered for the 10th anniversary lecture in honor of late Pascal Boyu. In a video we are about to watch, Ayuba Waba stated that Peter Obi is among the finest Nigerians and the first presidential candidate of the Labour Party to be recognized by the Labour Center. He went on to say that the Nigerian Labour Congress NLC is solidly behind the Labour Party candidate and the party itself and will fully mobilize to ensure that the victory of the party comes in 2023. He also recalled that the workers' union has realized that strike and protest alone cannot change the narratives in Nigeria, especially in regards to workers' welfare and fair treatment of the working people. Hence, labor must venture fully into politics and work hard to support candidates whose material will make life better for our members and Nigerians at large. Let's watch the video, we'll be right back. Progressively, the working class have been yearning to have an opportunity for the working class also to play a very active role. Two weeks ago, no, a week ago, myself and the General Secretary, we came back from the Conference of All American Federation of Labor, that is our counterpart in America with 14 million members. It will astonish you to note that President Biden came live and direct in Philadelphia and posted his speech. He said he was only president because the working class in America supported him. He said he's not ashamed to be called the president of the working class and the trade union in America. In fact, in the State House today, you have a working group on trade unions and trade union issues. He said so openly. Go to our website, the speech fully is there. Spoken verbatim by the President of America. Things can be made to work. And things can only work if we have leaders that are willing to connect with the people, hear from the people, know the problem of the people, and then work to address those issues. This is how Nigeria can actually work assiduously to get out of this whole shackle of cycle of challenges. We have worked assiduously to convoke a conference, a political conference of the NLC. I'm happy to tell you that the report is ready. We are not only engaging the political process without an agenda. Already we have the Workers' Charter of the Man, which I'm sure is going to form the manifesto of the Labour Party. All the issues we are discussing, including the reoccurring issue of whether there is subsidy or not, is already here. It makes no economic sense that Nigeria, as the major producing oil country in the world, we are importing. And today, with the oil crisis, oil price is going higher. Diesel is selling for 850 naira per litre. We have no reason to be impacted with the global energy challenge, if we have done the right thing. And NLC have remained very consistent to say that we can refine products, particularly diesel. Diesel is the easiest commodity to refine. Modular refineries can refine diesel. And therefore, we have no reason to be complaining. This month, I learned that NMPC did not remit a cobble into the Federation account. 
that the entire money had been engulfed by the so-called subsidy. I make the point and we reiterate that basically the issue of subsidy is just helping few because we have no reason to actually be discussing the issue of subsidy 40 years down the line. And NLC have remained very consistent. And it has come to pass now. All the arguments about subsidy have died flat. Nobody is advancing those arguments again. Oh, it's because of uh, uh, smuggling. Oh, it's be the four refineries we are told, which can be confirmed that some of them can actually work to produce diesel. But deliberately, they were closed. Because importation, many people benefit from importation. We have no reason to be discussing the issue of transportation of goods and services. In fact, as far back as 2016, you remember on the negotiation table, we discussed the issue of using compressed natural gas to convert all our vehicles to compressed natural gas, especially uh, those trucks that transport goods and services. And government made a commitment actually to commit 250 billion to be able to do that, that exercise. It's part of the terms of agreement that was entered to when the issue of subsidy was discussed in 2016. As of today, I'm not sure there is that conversion that have taken place. Right. And so when transporters are complaining that they cannot be able to buy diesel and still transport goods and services at the price we expect, I think the rhetorics need to change. I think nobody has actually disputed that he's among the finest in his generation. <laughs> or, or, when you look at the credentials of the governors, that have served within his era, you can compare, and he's among the finest. And therefore, he meets the criteria of the working class. On the part of the president of the NUC, Olayoye Quadri said, Peter Obi is a face among the presidential candidates. All labor unions are ready to work with, and that the entire labor movement has accepted, adopted, and will support and ensure workers massively vote for him in the 2023 presidential election. He further stated that the Labour Party is stronger and more formidable, adding that the party has a widespread structure as there is a worker and a member of either the TUC and LLC in every family across Nigeria. This is still DJMT with daily news update. So guys, here we have it. We have seen the Nigerian Labour Congress and the Nigerian Trade Union Association come out to pledge their support for Mr. Peter Obi and they have said that they will support campaign and they have uh, adopted him as the man for Nigerians, the man that Nigerians need and their commitment is to move Nigeria forward from consumption to production through on the app and the ability of Mr. Peter Obi. According to um, Ayuba Waba, he said uh, Peter Obi is among and one of the finest candidates among the candidates who are running for the position of president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. And he said that labor is the greatest contribution to production and hereby labor has a pledge to support Mr. Peter Obi for the 2023 presidential election. So guys, what are your thoughts and comments? Do you agree with the TUC and the NLC that Peter Obi is the finest among um, all candidates that are aspiring for the position of the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria? What are your thoughts and comments? Share them with us in the comment section below. DJ 